Welcome everyone. On this episode of Ask Darren, we are going to transform this into this. It was a fun project. Let's begin. Today, I am going to transform my stock 96 club car uh, into a jacked up golf cart. Um, got all new suspension products, uh, front A-frame, new rims, new tires, new rear shocks, new front shocks, shackles, everything. So, all right, so here's my suspension components. Uh, this is a whole front undercarriage for my golf cart. So basically this replaces stock and what it does is it takes it and moves your front wheels up four inches because it's a six inch lift. So if you lift it six inches, then you might be unstable a little bit going over some terrain. So what they do is they make your wheelbase longer. And I also went with a little bit wider tires than stock. So this will actually push them out even further to give you a better uh, stability. So this kit came uh, with everything here, uh, back blocks, new U-bolts, all the parts that you need to install it, you know, your control arms, everything for the steering, upper and lower control arm, for your shocks. So I think it was like, $280 for this kit. I'll put a link down below um, in it. So I ordered a set of shocks, or a set of shocks. The rear shocks have not came in yet, but my front shocks are here. They're supposed to be delivered today. The rear ones are, so. And then I ordered these rims and tires uh, the same time I ordered this kit. It came from the same people. I think it was like $819 for everything. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description below, but they're really nice. Gloss black, these really nice center caps and black uh, love nuts. So everything will match up really nice. All right, I did a bunch of time lapses through all this. Uh, I'm just basically just starting to tear it apart right here. Uh, taking off tires and whatnot. Uh, get, keep going out of frame because I kept going and getting different uh, sockets and whatnot because I really didn't know what I needed to do all this job. Uh, some things were metric, some were standard, so it made it kind of difficult to uh, figure out what I needed. Uh, like I said, this is a 1996 club car and pretty much every bolt was rusted or very hard to get off. Um, it was fun though. I mean, it was challenging, but all in all, it, it was a fun little project to do. Uh, I'd do another one in a heartbeat. I'm actually on the lookout for a uh, electric one. This one is gas, so I'm going to probably do another project here soon.
All right, you see me putting the front A-frame on right here, the main unit for the lift. And uh, I was really surprised that it did not come with the new bolts uh, to attach it to the frame. Um, the kit was really complete other than that. Uh, I did replace it with the new bolts and uh, lock nuts. So I was kind of shocked, but it is what it is. All right, well, I'm putting the hub, front hub assembly back on right here. Um, had to do a little adjustment on the camera. Uh, right there, you see me uh, repacking the bearings in the front. Um, just wanted to make sure they were good and greased when I put them back on. That way, uh, everything was good to go. Uh, I tried to remove the rear bearing, but it was actually pressed in, and it was a sealed bearing anyway. So I'll probably replace these. Um, Maybe this winter when I tear everything down and do a little bit uh, better paint job and stuff. Right now I just wanted to get it together. But uh, you can see me taking the dust cover off and repacking the bearings and putting it back on. All right, you just saw me grab that yellow bar. So when you grab a yellow bar, uh, you pretty much need it for leverage. What I was running into here, the uh, back or the front leaf spring bolt was actually like totally seized in there. So pretty much it's aluminum. The, the whole frame of this is aluminum and uh, everything else is steel, but the, the bolts were absolutely just frozen in the front so I could not get them out um, I tried everything I got the back ones out fine the front ones were just a very much pain in my butt so a lot has escalated from the last time I filmed so the front is done except for I had to order some new steering parts so I have the new uh, steering stabilizer uh, ball joints here and here and then the Pittman arm stabilizer there all brand new so I went ahead and just put the rims and tires on it because I had to beat on the back of this to try to get my leaf springs out. This is a 1996. So everything was a little bit uh, rusted up. So I had to end up cutting the front bolt out. I was able to get the rear bolt out and the shock out, but I had to take the body off so I could get to the upper shock mounts because I couldn't just get to them because they were pretty on there. Um, I had to get my, my cutter out. And if you look here, I had to cut the front out and it is actually welded into aluminum where it just corroded so bad it's actually in there. And now on the other side I had to I had to cut it out, but able, I was able to 
drill the one out and then pop the other one out. So I still got to do this one for this side. But here are my, here are the original sh shocks for the back. And here are the new heavy duty shocks. So you can kind of uh, see a single spring to a pack. So that has a full pack right there. So I plan on putting a rear seat on this in the future. So I went ahead and do that, did that. So Hopefully I can get the rest of the stuff installed today. But it's progress one way or the other. But she looks mean from the front. Those rims turned out really nice. Also, when I was taking this off, and I'm glad I had to take it off, um, this is what's left of my front dampening uh, mount. So, pretty much she's a shot. So, it was kind of good to take it off. I went ahead and redid my fuel filters, spark plug, air, air cleaner, changed the oil. Uh, come to find out I had a hole in my fuel line there and here. So I got new fuel line coming for it. But with this new spark plug and change the fuel filter, she fires up immediately.
I finally got the back together after some minor difficulties. A uh, wrench slipped yesterday and I took a big gouge out of my arm and it bled everywhere. So, you know, when you're dealing with a 1996, you know, things are going to get stuck and whatnot and you just deal with it. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to redo all my fuel line because when I lowered my engine down, it pulled one of my lines tight, which already had a crack in it, so it went ahead and leaked out. So live and learn, you know, it's just one of those things that next time I'll know to go ahead and crimp those lines off and give it extra room. I mean, I did go a six inch kit on this one, so it's pretty tall, and these are 23 inch tires, so she's up there. That's how she's gonna sit. And then I went with the heavy duty springs, so it's probably gonna ride pretty stiff until I put that back seat in. So, I got a lot more cleaning up to do before I put my body back on. Uh, I just found that this was broke, so I'm gonna take it over to my cousin's shop and TIG weld this. So, I was wondering why my topper was moving around a little bit and the seat back was moving around a little bit, and that's just because this was able to bounce up and down while I was driving. So I got to take apart the front end again. Um, it was, uh, I was waiting on my new rod ends to come in. So one is a left-handed thread. So the two 7540s are the same. And then the 7539 is a, a different one. Uh, these did not come with jam nuts. I have jam nuts on my old ones, so I'm not really that worried about it. But uh, I think this was like $39 for all three of these. So I got here today from Amazon. I'll link all this stuff in the description of every part I used. That way, if you're wanting to do this to your club car or another one, this kind of gives you an idea. All right, well, right here, I'm uh, kind of block sanding and getting the uh, body ready for primer. Uh, my son helped me for like 30 seconds and he was wanting to go on to something else. He just wanted to paint. Uh, so I cleaned it there with mineral spirits and then I, now I'm adding just a primer down. Uh, I put uh, four or five coats of primer on this because uh, th this body was really rough. I'm um, still not really happy with how it turned out, but uh, I mean, for what I'm going to do with it, it'll be perfect because I'm going to destroy it anyway. It's just running around on my uh, five and a half acres. So right here, I'm wet sanding, uh, just trying to smooth out some of the wrinkles. You can see right there, that's the first wet sand. And then uh, right here, I'm actually putting on the flat black or matte black uh, on the top and everything. I still had the front to do. So right here, uh, I'm actually taping off everything. That way I can uh, paint anything that was aluminum color, I'm gonna paint uh, gloss black. That way the body's gonna be uh, flat black or matte black, and then uh, e anything else that was aluminum is going to be gloss black to uh, highlight the rims that I put on here. So I'm gonna have that uh, black and uh, gloss black look. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, it's going to be good enough for what I'm going to use it for. Uh, I probably might replace the body later just because it is pretty, uh, pretty rough. But like I said before, I'm going to use it. I'm going to scratch it up. And that's why I was going to actually wrap the body with uh, vinyl. But if I got a tear in it or whatnot, it was just going to be too much of a hassle to uh, touch up and fix. So as you can see here, this is what I started with, just a little refresher. And uh, you can just see the dramatic change in uh, the look of this golf cart. 
Um, it was super, super fun project. There's some things I learned, um, some things that I wish they would have said with the lift. Um, what happened is like the there's some ground wires that were too short the vacuum line was too short uh for the fuel system just little little things that uh i wish they would have told you about but it's just one of those things that you know you live and learn and you go on from there so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh project as much as i did um I got a few little things that I'm going to do here and there. Uh, new seat covers are coming. I'm going to put a rear seat. Uh, I actually hooked it up to my mowing trailer just to show off what it could do. But uh, all in all, is a pretty dramatic uh, change in this golf cart. I'm pretty happy with it. There's a couple things that I'd do different next time, but uh, I almost gained almost a foot of ground clearance out of this all. So. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.